the path ahead has been cleared. All you have to do is walk forward. You do not have to lift a finger for this manifestation to come in for you. You just have to move forward and you have to be willing to do so. It's like with 100% confidence in the choice that you're making, the commitment that you're making to yourself and your journey. Let's pull some cards. What a beautiful life you've chosen for yourself. What a beautiful path you've chosen to walk down. And it hasn't been easy with the Prince of Wands. Yeah, you decided to go out on this journey and create something of yourself. You decided, you know what? This isn't the life I want to live. Like, this isn't it for me. This doesn't excite me. This uh, this isn't what makes me feel alive. I'm, I'm looking around and I see so many people just living mindlessly and 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 unconsciously and, and this is not for me and it's like you realize that you can't choose for other people but you can choose for you and that right there shifted everything for you completely changed your reality into this princess of pentacles energy this ten of pentacles energy and the queen of hearts followed by the high priestess and the magician okay there's a and the star oh okay there's a lot of energy coming in through there is a lot of energy coming through here I hope that you are doing okay <laughs> with the Ten of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles. So first of all, you're coming into a new level of um, stability. So this could be in your place of living. This could be within your career, within your finances, within yourself, like your emotions, your mental state. You are entering a new level of stability. And I feel like this is really going to give you um, a stable foundation to grow from. Like this is kind of... It's like you didn't need much. You just needed you needed that little bit of nurturing. Like you needed that little it's like that little spark of hope and you found it. You found it within yourself. You also found support somewhere around you. Some type of support like something or someone came in and offered you like a hand up and you and you said, "You know what? I'm going to take this and I'm going to see where it leads." So something about a door opening, you walking through and saying, "You know what? I'm going to see where this leads." And that led to a, a brand new beginning for you with the Ten of Pentacles here. And ultimately, this is leading you to everything that you could have asked for, like complete fulfillment. Like you, you aren't even going to realize how fast this journey goes for you. It's going to feel a little chaotic at times, a little bumpy along the way, but you're going to get to this point where you're like, oh my God, I made it through. Like I actually, with the Ten of Pentacles here, made it to where I was trying to go. And now you're sitting in this Princess of Pentacles energy. You're like, where do I go from here? Like that, you're either in this energy or you're headed for this energy where you get to say to yourself, well, where do I go from here? You know, what is it? What is it that lights my soul on fire? What is it that, what is it that you're meant to do in this lifetime? And with the Queen of Hearts here, this is heavily related to love. This began with love for yourself. Love for yourself led to love for your family, for your friends. And also for a very beautiful King of Cups that is on his way or its way or their way or currently already in your life. But this connection is about to be brought to an entire new level because of the love and commitment that you have chosen for yourself and your journey. Now we get into the heavy stuff because this is no joke, the energy that came out here. Um... Mm, something about the numbers 111, 222, as well as 777 and 555 are very significant, 1111 as well. Um, so we have the Magician and the High Priestess. So going in order, we have 1, 2. Automatically, this tells me that you are an extremely intuitive human being. Um, maybe not even human at this point. Maybe you're more tuned into, you know, your ancestral gifts and abilities, your uh, other dimensional, um, you know, aspects of yourself. But whatever it is, you're doing for yourself whatever energy it is that you're living in it's um highly magnetizing it's it's very in in traps uh, what is it enchanting it's very enchanting like very mystical people are wondering about you um whatever you left behind whoever you left behind people are wondering about you um and people don't know whether to ask you if you're okay or ask you how you became everything that you are it's like I feel like you're going to receive equal amounts of hate and equal amounts of love. Um, either way, it doesn't matter because you are alchemizing any energy that is sent your way at this point, which is a very, very powerful position to be in. You are creating your reality. You are you are coming into a new sense of awareness of yourself. Um, 
you are also accepting all parts of yourself. You are beginning to understand the duality of life and how this has positively affected your life and how the acceptance, the whole and complete acceptance of all that you are and all that you've been is actually what is propelling you forward into this beautiful, blessed, abundant lifestyle that you are headed for or are currently entering into or already living in. You have this connection to divine that is undeniable, unmistakable. Like people look at you and they think to themselves, what, you know, what energy work has this person done? What is it about this person that I'm so drawn to? And a lot of people, um, a lot of people, I feel like you pull people's masks off. Like you kind of pull people's shadows out or, or trigger people into awakenings is also what's coming through. Whatever you're doing, don't stop because you you are headed for some serious it's like i feel like you're you're about to catch a wave like you're about to catch a wave of momentum or unlock a new level of yourself where it's like every door that you've ever stepped through just slams shut and falls away and you have no choice but to exist in this beautiful new abundant and blessed reality that you have created for yourself like you took control okay you showed up you did the work you took the chance on yourself you took opportunities that presented themselves and you did it unapologetically you are brave you are strong you are courageous creative creative and courageous and you ultimately your connection with yourself and the realization that you are a divine child of god therefore you are therefore i am that realization is just it, it it's going to change everything for you um you took control here you surrendered to your highest timeline your highest good ultimately god's greater good for your life and you are going to be undeniably and unmistakably successful at anything you do anything that you focus your time and energy into and anyone as well any connection any relationship friendship love connection it's going to feel the power of your love and faith 